Good morning. I'm walking the dog this morning, as usual, and I come across this. I want to show this to you. Look at that. The little growth in front of the grate. And I'm wondering, is there dirt piled all the way up to the grate that makes this thing grow? And then I look deeper, all the way down, and I see that this plant is growing all the way through the grate, reaching for the light. It's amazing. So that's a good three feet that that plant is growing, which means that it had its eye on the sunlight through the grate for some time, pushing its way upward toward the sunlight. And I thought about this as a parallel for our own lives. What do you reach for? What do you put your sights on and reach for? How do you stretch up to continue to grow in your life so that the choices that you make are new and life-giving life and add purpose and meaning to your life? This plant, Oh gosh, all of creation around us, right? That's why we go on these walks, to find God in everything. But this, this little image of this plant that surprised me, growing all the way up from the bottom of the gutter to the sunlight, clinging to the hope that it will see the sunlight, that it will actually cut through this darkness in which it finds itself and raise its head through the grate and continue to thrive. In all that's gone on in your life this last year, and also in the, the many ways that we try to make sense of our lives in general, this image is meant to inspire us as believers to keep our eyes on the prize. St. Paul calls it, keeping our eyes on the prize, meaning a life well lived with the divine and others in our sights. Our life is really not meant to be lived for ourselves. Okay, well, I shouldn't tell you what to do. I'm just saying for myself, this is what I ponder so often. How can I make an option for others when I'm making a decision. This space between the stimulus and the response, right, that we talked about the other day from Viktor Frankl, this space in which I find every opportunity between the stimulus and the response. How will I respond? How will I find purpose and meaning in my life by putting others first? By trying to discern what the good for the bigger picture is, not just for my immediate satisfaction. It's a very frustrating way to live. <laughs> because you wish others would live that way with you, right? No, in fact, it's often the minority. But I love this image of this little plant pushing its way through the grate up into the sunlight. Stretch for what you long for. Set your sights on something that gives your life meaning and purpose and go for it. Take action in ways that perhaps you've been disillusioned before. Oh, it won't work. Oh, it hasn't worked. Or other people say, you're nuts to even try it. Go for it. You have one life to live, as do I. Why wouldn't we fill it with the greatest opportunities to offer meaning and purpose, not only to our life, but to the lives of others.